In this lecture, we will discuss about modeling using proportionality and geometric similarity. This is one of the most elementary and most intuitive ways to build a mathematical model for real-life problems. The typical case where this kind of modeling can be useful is that where we need to predict something about a complex object while having access only to a sim simple to measure dimension of that object. Now, for example, if we are in a fa bass fishing competition, the problem is going to be for us to predict the weight of that fish in terms of some easily measurable dimensions, such as the length of the fish. And of course, the idea in that kind of situation is that it's a catch and release competition and you want to release the fish as quickly as possible. So rather than spending too much time and measuring carefully the weight, you would rather like to just uh, quickly measure the length and say something about the weight based on that length. Now, in modeling using proportionality, um, the idea is that we will say that y is proportional to x, and we will denote that, that by y tilde x. Um, if y is proportional to x, meaning um, y is equal to some constant k times x for some uh, positive constant k. What this means is that if we draw this uh, plot where we have y on the vertical and x on the horizontal, and we will uh, write uh, this is one pair of points with y being proportional to x, and we have another point also with x and y being proportional with the same constant k, and we have another one here. What we will see is that all these points, they are on a line, and in fact the slope of that line is exactly k. Now this means also that if we have another proportionality uh, relationship with a higher k, then the points are going to be on a line with a higher slope. In the case of more complex objects, um, we will have that two objects are, uh, are going to be called geometrically similar if there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the points of the, of the object such that the ratio of distances between the corresponding points is the same for all pairs of points. Now, what this means in the case of two boxes, just to take an easy example, is that the ratio of their lengths uh, is going to be equal to the ratio of their widths and is going to be equal to the ratio of their heights, and let's denote that by uh, k, uh, with k some positive constant. Now what this means right away is that the ratio of the volumes of those boxes is going to be the cubic of that constant k, and it's easy to see that because the volumes um, are really calculated as a product of the length, the width, and the heights. A similar thing can be said also about the ratio of their surface areas. Uh, the surface areas is just a sum of the surfaces of all the faces of those boxes, and that, when we take the ratio, is going to give us k squared. So, in other words, if we have access to measuring just the lengths of those boxes, and we know that they are geometrically, geometrically similar, then right away we will be able to say something about the ratio of their surfaces and the ratio of their volumes. In the example with the bass fishing, uh, what this is going to mean is that uh, we are going to be able to predict the weight of that fish in terms of the length. And the solution for that is that we are going to build a model assuming geometric similarity. And the assumption behind that model is that we will fish in this competition only for bass. So all the fishes that we are going to catch, they will have the same shape no matter how long or how heavy they are. So. Assuming geometric similarity between the fishes that we catch in this competition, we will get that, as we have seen on the previous slide, the volume is proportional to the cubic of the length of the fish. And of course, we know that the weight is proportional to the volume. So in conclusion, uh, the weight that we are really interested in, in in this competition is proportional to the cubic of the length. Now, um, what this means is that we can easily calculate the weight of any fish we catch just by measuring its length. And then, of course, we need the proportionality constant, but that proportionality constant we can calculate based on just one fish. In other words, we can catch one fish, spend enough time 
uh, to measure the weight of that fish and measure its length and based on that we are going to cal calculate the proportionality constant that after that we will use for every other fish that we catch in this, this competition to calculate its weight depending on just the length of that fish. Now what this means is also that um, we can think about the way the weight of that fish depends to the cubic of the length of that fish and what we will see is that we are going to have uh, maybe a fish that had this much uh, in terms of the cubic length of that fish and, and this much weight and we will have another fish here and if the model is correct then what we will see is that all these data points we have in the competition they will be on a slope going through the origin. Of course there might be some small errors here and, and there but by and large we should see that um, the um, data points they form a line uh, going through the origin. Now if we think about this model of course it's a simplistic model so this model doesn't reward the catching a fat fish meaning that if we catch two fishes of the same length but one is fatter than the other one then our model is not going to distinguish and is not going to reward for catching that 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 fatter fish now to allow for this we can really revise our model and we are going to do it in the following way um, we are going to assume that the majority of the weight comes from the main body without the head and the tail so to account for that we are going to denote the length of the main body meaning the length of the fish without the head and without the tail and we are going to denote that by L sub F, F standing for effective length. Now when we think about this and especially thinking that our fish is going to have uh, some of them are going to be fatter, some of them are going to be thinner, the main body has a varying cross-sectional area. So we are going to consider in this revised model the average cross-sectional area and we are going to denote that, that by A sub, sub AVG standing for the average cross-sectional area. So our assumption is going to be that the weight is, as before, proportional to the volume, but the volume now is going to be proportional to the product between the average cross-sectional area and the effective length. So the problem for us is going to be, in this formulation of the model, how to estimate the average cross-sectional area and the effective length by having access just to some easily measurable dimensions of that fish. So here is what we will do. We are going to again assume that we will have geometric similarity between the various fish uh, we catch in this competition. And that means the, that we are going to assume that the effective length is going to be proportional to the total length of the fish, which is something we can easily measure. And if we also measure one other dimension of the fish, meaning we are going to measure a circumference of that fish at its widest point, and we are going to denote that by G standing for the, for the girth and we will assume that the average cross-sectional area is going to be proportional to the square of G. Now if we have these assumptions then our model is now going to become that the weight of that fish is just proportional to the product between L and G squared. So to test the model um, we could really just um, collect some data points and we will see that if we put weight here and we put here on this horizontal the product between L and G squared we should see that indeed uh, points lie somewhere on a slope on a line going through the origin and we can calculate the slope of this uh, uh, line based on just one uh, fish and for example in in the case uh, that I have on the slides we are going to have that the, the constant numerical constant is something like 0 0.02